Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's, I'm Shabs and I'm back with another NHL 17 gameplay. And this time it's going to be an NHL talks commentary where we talk about NHL news that breaks out and some big news broke out a couple nights ago. The Winnipeg Jets defenseman Jakob Truba has requested for a trade. So Darren Dreger reported it a couple nights ago and it looks as if, uh, according to the rumors, Jakob Truba has been asking for a trade for over two, four months now, and but it wasn't public. So the, he gave four months... Uh, to the Winnipeg Jets, you know, he's like, okay, look, I want to trade from this place and I'm not going to make it public. I'm going to give you some time, you know, to figure out a trade partner, a reasonable return. You know, he wanted to be a team player, which was, which was good to hear. Uh, but then obviously training camp is rolling around and Truba does not want to report to camp and he's unsigned. He's still in RFA. So safe to say he's asking for a trade. He wants out. He doesn't believe he's going to get the playing time that he wants and deserves, which he's right. You know, he's been playing like a top, a top pairing defenseman since he was drafted uh so since he was 19 years old he's been playing like a number one d and he deserves the playing time that he's asking for to be honest but for some reason the winnipeg jets feel like tyler myers and dustin bufflin are a better duo than bufflin and uh truba so you know what it is what it is uh i don't agree and a lot of people don't agree but that's how the jets are gonna roll and about five or six months ago i believe i remember james myrtle tweeting that the winnipeg jets are set in stone with the red hand shots and they like Jakob Truba, I mean not Jakob Truba, sorry, uh, Tyler Myers and Dustin Balfour is our top four. So with that tweet, it started a bunch of rumors and stuff and it looks like he was right as Truba's camp has announced for a trade request. So beginning with his request, I want to talk about the Winnipeg Jets and what they could potentially have in return. A guy like Truba, you know, there's not really one or two teams that are interested. I mean, who doesn't want to add a top, a top end elite potential a uh, 22 year old RFA defenseman that you can lock up long term and not only that he's probably gonna be one of the highest assets on your team being a 22 year old and being already he's already playing like a number one defenseman so just imagine how much he's gonna grow how much is when his game gets better his defensive game gets better as he matures as he gets stronger year after year after year it's it's a huge risk uh, not to trading him right now and it's a huge uh, failure for the Winnipeg Jets, in my opinion, to, to be losing him. Uh, for a guy like Tyler Myers, which is which is idiotic, in my opinion. But, you know what? It's, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. Uh, Truba's not going to report to camp. So, uh, as I was saying, like I'm pretty sure every every single team is going to call the Winnipeg Jets now. And because the, the rumor just broke out and he, he's now requested a trade publicly, uh, sadly, it looks like his trade, his trade value is going to go down because now every team's like, okay, they know he they want to trade him and they have to trade him because he requested a trade publicly so uh it would have been wise for shovel they have to gotten some done earlier but it is it's whatever and you know what really struck shocked me like a team like the edmonton oilers if they just waited a couple of months for truba and they traded trailer hard for truba that would have been a blockbuster trade number one and number two it would have been fair for both teams you're getting a number one right left winger if you're the winnipeg jets and you're getting a number one defenseman if you're the uh edmonton oilers but obviously that's another story for another day and Hall's already traded for Adam Larson. So, you know, we can't do anything about that. We could, however, talk about this team uh, and Winnipeg Jets. So as I'm looking at them, uh, one of my, my favorite team obviously is the Toronto Maple Leafs and I'm always thinking about them and how they can benefit from something like this. And they certainly can. I mean, it looks like a, like a matchup made in heaven, a trade w waiting to happen. Like the Leafs, one of their biggest needs is a top and right hand defenseman. And they have a guy like Nikita Zaitsev who's looking who's looking really good to be honest. He looks like he'll be a good top four defenseman. But they don't have that top end guy. Maybe a guy like Morgan Riley can emerge eventually. Maybe a guy like Jake Gardner can emerge. A guy Gardner, a guy who I think already is a number two number two defenseman. Uh, but just imagine the line of him, Gardner, and Truba working and then Riley and Zaitsev. I mean that'd be crazy. But for the Leafs, unfortunately, I don't think it'll happen. Like, if any trade is to happen between the Winnipeg Jets and the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm sure the Jets are not going to ask for forwards unless his name is William Nylander, Austin Matthews, or Mitch Marner. And from a Leafs point, I know that's never going to happen. But And if it does happen, that's just stupid because they all have, obviously, the potential that they have. Uh, but because I don't think the Jets would want uh, forwards outside of that. Because if you look at their roster right now, their forward depth is pretty high. They got Mark Scheifele, Brian Little, and Andrew Grimishrov as their centers. They got And then as their wingers, they have Blake Wheeler, Patrick Laine, Marco Dano, Nikolai Ehlers. The list goes on and on and on. And then even if those guys don't work out and they're looking for some juice for the top six in the future, they got guys like Kyle Connor, Brendan Lemieux, and Nicholas Patan coming down the pipeline. So they look set in stone with their forwards. I'm not sure 
uh, maybe if they want to bolster their forward depth, they would go for a guy, a team like Toronto. But I'm pretty sure one of the biggest trades they would want is a top uh, top four left-handed defenseman because after Tobias Enstrom, they're looking pretty weak. And unless a guy like Josh Morrissey really steps up next season, that would be a glaring hole for them. And maybe a guy like Jake Gardner and Morgan Riley can fill that for the Jets. But at this point, I think it's premature for the Leafs to even give up a guy like Morgan Riley or Jake Gardner because they're showing elite potential and they're maybe about to hit their stride or they're a year or two from hitting their stride. And they could become a player that's better than Jacob Truva. But, 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 I will say, if the Toronto Maple Leafs have a chance to trade Morgan Riley for Truba straight up, which I think is not going to happen, then I would do it in a heartbeat. Why? Because Jacob Truba has proven that he's a top defenseman, while Morgan Riley has only shown that he can play as a top four defenseman. So, unless Riley drastically improves this year and uh, changes my mind, that's how I feel about the situation. But obviously, I don't think it's going to happen. Mainly because even even though Lupo Lu will try everything he can, I don't think the Winnipeg Jets will be win willing to do that because maybe they have analytics are a big thing in this in today's NHL and they'll know they'll know that Jakob Trouba is a better player than Morgan Riley. But you know what? We don't know because guys like Taylor Hall get traded for Adam Larson. Anything can happen. Uh, that's how I feel about the Toronto Maple Leafs situation. So, but what do you guys feel about Jakob Trouba and poten potentially a trade happening between him uh, going to the Toronto Maple Leafs? Maybe. Or uh, in the comment section below, let me know what you think of the rumors and what you think is going to happen with Truba. Is he going to get traded soon? Or is he not going to play until the trade deadline? Like, what's going to happen? Or do you think a situation like Jonathan Duran will happen? Where, you know, he won't play and then he'll come back and re-sign a contract and be like, you know what, I need to play some NHL games. And then he comes back and then he, re uh, uh, he revokes his trade request. You know, I don't know. You never know. Shit happens like that. Uh, anyways, guys, leave a like if you really like this. Uh, if you want more NHL talks... Uh, let me know in the comments below and, let, and let, let me know what you think about the Jakob Trouba rumors and subscribe for more content. Have a good day, guys. Peace.